Hello and welcome to BrianStevenson.com. This is Brian Stevenson and today we are installing and configuring the activity stream module for Drupal 6. And if you're wondering what is activity stream, uh, activity stream builds a live stream for you by aggregating your social activities all into one place. So you know how you go onto the internet and you might Twitter something here and maybe comment on a few Flickr photos here and go over to Facebook and update your status and you know you've got all these things going on in your life and all these social networking sites and wouldn't it be awesome if you could just take them all together and just bring them into one place. Well that's what ActivityStream does for you and um, I absolutely love it. I've been using it for uh, about a week now and I thought it'd be pretty cool to help people configure the application. So let's go ahead and cover the uh, steps to install it. First, you go out to the drupal.org website, go to forward slash project forward slash activity stream. Currently it's in beta 2 and uh, you know it does have a couple bugs in it. I've noticed a couple of the uh, supporting modules um, you know like stumble upon and YouTube might have a few quirks to it but you know it's pretty stable and I've really enjoyed it so hey why not give it a go uh, second what you do is you copy the entire activity stream directory to your website and usually that's found under public HTML maybe you have a subdirectory for Drupal sites all and then modules and once you've got it uh, installed you uh, activate it so let's go ahead and bring open uh, a web browser here. So first you do, uh, you go into your admin and then you go into uh, site building and then you go into modules. And when you get into modules, you'll scroll down and you should notice uh, activity stream, should be the first one alphabetically. And uh, what, we, what we're going to do today is we're going to activate all of them. Uh, we're not going to use all of them today, but let's just activate all of them. So we check them all and then click on save configuration and once we do that let's go ahead and configure a few things uh, let's go to site configuration activity stream now uh, there's not really much to configure uh, in in the core of activity stream it pretty much just works on its own all you need to do is uh, if you want to customize the title you can throw in something that uh, is custom for your website um, for right now I'm just gonna throw in a little teaser text uh, so that way you can see where that's gonna show up uh, and also you can configure a Flickr API um, if you wanna talk to Flickr uh, you need to have an API key to do that but we're not gonna configure that for right now so let's click save configuration and let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and set up uh, a user here. Now this took me about an hour to figure out. I wasn't uh, paying attention to uh, probably the documentation, but all of the setup goes straight into the user. So you go into your user account here and click on Activity Stream, and what you'll notice here is um, you can plug in some usernames. So we're, today we're going to use my Twitter username and we're going to use my dig username and uh, let's see here uh, we're going to use my blog feed um, and uh, we're not going to do YouTube for right now so let's go ahead and click on save and there we go uh, so let me flip back over here so as far as configuration is concerned um, you can configure the streams title if you'd like you can configure your usernames and RSS feeds for the social networking sites you like. And then lastly, we need to go in and we need to refresh cron.php. Uh, that actually took me a while to figure out too. I kept on wondering why uh, wasn't it pulling in my stuff and it's just a matter of running cron. So, um, and actually I just want to throw in something here. Cron uh, can take a little while for it to do what it needs to do. I don't know if some of the feeds just kind of time out or something but I've noticed that um, it can take up to an hour for something to show up there and maybe it just might be my cache settings I don't know um, but I just want to at least let you know that you need to run cron if you want to see your stuff so let's go ahead and um, let's see let's go ahead alright let, let's cover some of the module uses uh, first of all you can go in and you can configure I'm sorry you can view all of your streams uh, by going to your stream URL so let's go ahead and go to forward slash stream 
and as you can see it pulled in all of my RSS feeds there's my little favicon there and uh, it brought in my my dig uh, articles that I uh, dug earlier this week and let's see what else do we have here and well that's it for right now I guess so uh, you can go into stream now you can also view individual user streams by going forward slash and then the user ID so as you can see here uh, user ID 3 is the demo user user ID 1 is the admin user and this admin doesn't have any uh, streams configured for right now and I just wanted to point out that you can see here activity stream one two three four five this is the activity stream title that you can configure um, and that's where it shows up so uh, there are some other ways you can go in and access the data you can go into forward slash user and then the user ID and underneath here there's the history tab and uh, here's all the history for this particular user and it shows the I don't know the, the top few that were posted um, let's see what else can we do here let's see oh yeah we can also add a, uh, a block for the activity stream so let's go ahead and flip back to my browser here so let's go ahead and let's go to the admin and let's go to uh, see site building blocks and uh, looks like I already threw in a block here it should be on the right sidebar so um, it's just pretty much just a matter of choosing where you want to add the um, the block we'll click on save blocks we'll go to the main page and let's go ahead and scroll over to the right and here you go there are all of your um, uh, activity stream items see here now let's talk about some of the advanced uses um, since everything um, is a node as far as activity stream items are concerned you can use views to access those nodes uh, you can also go in and you can do direct database queries there's an activity stream table there and um, you can have access to some of the things uh, directly within the table and finally you can actually extend activity stream using their API um, I've noticed that some of the major social networking sites like MySpace uh, don't yet have an API uh, to talk to them. So, you know, hey, it might be you that builds that API. So you, you're free to, you know, extend this module however way you want. So if you have any questions or comments about this screencast, please speak up. I'm not very good at reading minds, not even my own. And uh, do you have a request for a future screencast? Please fill out the contact form. You go to brianstevenson.com forward slash contact. And I just wanted to say thank you for watching this screencast, and I hope to see you on the net.